Hey there, my name is Chris from VFX On, and in my previous tutorial I showed you how to make a cloth drop effect in Cinema 4D, but now I'm gonna show you how to make a cloth lift off instead using Cinema 4D. So this is how the lift off is gonna look like. Okay, now that you have seen the preview, um, the only thing that we can do is get into action of making this lift off. Okay, now let's add some text. Um, I'm gonna add text through here. You can go through the mode graph mode text, but I'm gonna use this. So text. I'm gonna type VFX. No, actually, I'm gonna type VFX O and then I'm just gonna duplicate by holding control and just simply add an N here and move it I'm gonna rename this N and this to VFX O so let's move the N to about here and then let's add these in extrude norms so hold down um, select the layer and hold down alt and click on extrude nerve so it puts automatically the layer inside the extrude nerve so let's do that again for the N okay but the text looks kind of edgy so let's go to caps uh, fill a cap fill a cap let's say two three three and two yeah that looks better and the same here, fill a cap, um, no, 3, 2, and 2, and 3 here. Okay, now we have to rename this to N, and this to VFX O. Okay, now let's add a floor. I'm going to use the plane here, just scale it up like so. You can use your studio setup or or other files you have in content manager but for the tutorial purpose I'm just gonna use the simple plane I'm gonna rename that to ground okay so now we have to start on our cloth right here so let's add a plane that we will use for as our cloth move it above I'm gonna only use it on the N so let's move it above the N and yeah that looks good actually now I have to scale it a little bit down as it's too wide um, maybe about like this no actually seems to have to be even a little bigger like so so that looks good and now let's go to let's rename this um, cloth now let's go right click it simulation and cloth okay now we ha let's move the ground below here and let's make this cloth object editable like so now let's select now I have yeah let's select these and right click it simulation and cloth collider so let's see if it yeah that works although it's really rough so um, now let's click on the cloth and add that in hypernerbs remember to hold alt and click it so it's automatically puts it in the hypernerbs so that way our cloth now is a lot smoother and it's not so jagged around the edges and not so rough now let's select these collider tags and let's set the bounds to 10 and friction to 15 percent and now let's adjust the cloth tag um, the stiffness will change to 70 the flexion to 4 um, rubber we will leave it at zero Bo bounce bones bounce to five and the friction to um, 45 and the mass to zero 
0.5. Okay, so um, we have a problem right here. I don't know if you have it, but I, well, I do have it. As you can see, my letter is sticking out of my cloth and, well, in real life, it does not happen. Um, well, unless the object is really, really sharp, but in this case, it's not. So what we have to do is we will have to duplicate this end here and I'm gonna adjust the size of it like so move it to this point and just move it above the cloth like this um, and now you you obviously this is not what you are after this is not how you want your um, final render to look like right so we have to hide it from our render and our preview so if we now go back to start and if we play the animation and let's say well we can pause and obviously you can see that there is no cloth no I mean uh, the leather leather is not sticking out of out of your cloth so we solve the issue and now we can work on our cloth liftoff so I'm gonna name this to cloth I'm gonna turn off the hypernerbs off here and let's fly above our cloth like this and let's add a cube where is our cube let's scale it down press T to scale so I'm gonna scale it to this I'll just simply move we have to move above the plane so let's go back to our animation let's move it to here and now let's let the cloth drop um, wait for it to settle at the point you like how it looks so I'm gonna stop about oops my animation <laughs> and um, okay let's do it again this time we will do it okay so about let's stop it here now let's again go above our um, I'm gonna turn off the cube for now and let's rotate like this so we can see the plane let's select the cloth and let's go into this so we can see the points and so we have to select a few points here hold and just select these okay no I failed um, because I selected too much points so let's try again so I'm gonna select these be careful not to select some size or anything because um, it's gonna ruin the effect here so I would have to say th these points are good and let's turn on our cube back now let's move here and basically what we want to do is we want to attach these points to the cube and how we are gonna do that is let's select the cube press C to make it editable let's go back to cloth right click it go to simulation and click cloth belt then drag the cube into belt on and click set okay now let's go back to this mode and if we now go and click play from the start you can see that well it does not look how we want it to look like but what we have to do is just lower oops nope 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 um, lower the that's around the hyper nerves and lower the cube to the point you want don't lower it too low otherwise you'll have the problem like well I would have to say like I'm gonna leave it about there so um, that looks good so just lower it to the place you like how it looks I'm gonna press pause right here and I'm gonna select the cloth tag here and go to dresser and initial state and I'm gonna click set now I can go back to start 
and our cloth is staying in the place we did set it to. Um, this is not this does not look like the best result you can get, but you know you have time to play around with this effect. So now we have to animate the cube lifting off, so the cloth also lifts with it. And basically, how we're gonna do that? Let's say frame ten. Click on the stopwatch coordinations, and we are gonna animate the y axis. So just lift the cloth. Um, no, we have to go actually forward. So I'm gonna go to frame forty, and now let's lift, um, move the cube up in the sky like crazy. Um, a thing that can happen is is that sometimes if you lift the the cube not so high in the sky, you will in your render you will at some point see the cloth dropping in. I had this problem in the preview, but I did fix it. So now if we preview this, you can see a cool lift off effect. And if we look to our sky right now, where's our object? So we can see how does this cloth looks right now. So it's in pretty bad shape, I would have to say. I feel kind of sorry for it, but what can you do? So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. You can, I don't know if it, if the, if the simulation cloth and cloth nerps will do anything for us here. So let's set the thickness to let's say two subdivision to zero. If we go back, let's see if there is. Well, it might do a slight change here and there. I really don't know. Yeah, you can see that the thickness kind of gives you a little more thickness. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Um, I really would like to see what did you make from this effect. So, yeah, this is how to make a cloth lift off. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you like and if you want more tutorials, feel free to subscribe. Also, may leave some comments down below if you have any questions or suggestions about some tutorials. And also, remember to like this tutorial and to add it to your favorites and maybe even tell your friends and your family and um, I will see you guys in some other tutorial and yeah, bye!